Is that a dog or a cat that jumps off the sofa? It can't be Tom's mum because they've already done Tom's mum, so I think it's Craig. Oh, he's in the jacket where he's holding the crowbar in the trailer. It's not a game where it's a defamation. It's ridiculous. Is it though? Did Mandy and Vinny get on today too? No idea, but I'm the only one that called him a rapist in front of everyone. It's just such a mess. Until Sam and Lydia. It's just my much for the first time. I know that guys like my dad and this Craig need calling out. But you should have spoken to me first. Could have found that way. Okay, I know. I mm -hmm. wish I had. It is what it is. Look, um, I've got to go. I'll text you later. But whatever it is, coming your way, we'll sort it. Please write it up. We'll sort it. I'll get my legal colour, check it out, see if he's got a right to stand on it. Don't have to worry, yeah? Right. Sure. Right. You sent me business on my son, I Thank you. Monday. Yeah, but you need that extra money for it, sir. Oh, 
manage. I am really sorry that you carried on working there. You know, just for me. You mustn't accept any of the blame. The only person to blame is that horrible, evil man. She's right. Greg heard us all fooled. Mm -hmm. It's easy for men like that. Yeah, thanks. I'll wash up. No, you cooked. Me and your dad will do it. Oh, cool. I'll see you in a bit. I knew he was shouldering the blame. Yeah, but it'll be fine. It's a tingle. You all right? Not really. I can't believe how many lives that man has wrecked. And I just want one thing now. For Craig to admit it. Where's she in the hospital? Where's Gabby in the hospital? No, I think no, it is. Whatever her name is, Gail. She's given wounds and stuff. I need to go You need to get a better joke because you're only impressed with your girlfriend. You're just some. I believe you, even though your dad doesn't. Check a potato, tuna, crunch, no butter. New York, first round of sandwich. Wow, looks amazing, thank you. Yeah, it's literally bread with a bit of meat. You're welcome. Uh, before we end up in another coma, can I just double check that's got no nuts in there? Of course. And I can guarantee that no pecan, pistachio, or almond has been near that plate. It's not a joke, Victoria, it's lavender. She knows that. No, it's fine, Jacob. I know it's important, my reputation relies on it. Yeah, and the only reason why you've still got one is because you decided not to take his stay, and when you poisoned him, oh, you let me come with you after your drug dealer stabbed him. You can't speak to him, <coughs> like that. I've had it for food. The only nut around here is you. You can shove that chocolate potato up your bum. Right, stop, please. <laughs> Mum, say sorry to Victoria. Me? She's just told me to shove that jacket potato up my bum. She said she'd just have it. Were you doing for a bigger issue? Just drop it. I don't know why you're on her side. Look. Thank you, but I don't need you to fight my battles. Layla, I'm very sorry for what I said. Enjoy your food. Rude. It's very rude. Alright, Chas. Hey. Uh, yeah, she's working in our farm while I go to this safety course thing. <laughs> well, she's working in between shouting and phone to call out that dodgy tell or something. I can't call them on the third just to know. Are you mean? Yeah. I'll buy my mark for Egg and I'll try to throw to for you, but you'll make it easier. Listen, thank you for trying. I am really grateful that you managed to get to stay. And who knows, given time, we might be able to break him down. I did. So you wait for me. I'm not far for it, so I'll start it. Right. Hey. Right, I'm off to learn which fire extinguisher to use. Make sure your mum doesn't drink the bar dry. See ya. We're all waiting for you. You're not invited. What do you think? What are you up to? See what we can do. Oh, yeah. It's perfect, Craig. We're all upset with what's happened, but we don't need any more trouble with police. Depends if the police finds out. I will keep calling you until you answer me, Harry Pollard. How many is that now? I see number nine. Swim. It's ominous. I know. It's not counting on you to keep things on the right side of the law, I can't. I'm not sure I want it. Please, you stop all this so we can talk properly. Seems no one's done anything about it yesterday. I thought it was a good idea to get arrested again and try and help Lydia. 
I won't be near his farm now, this. Otherwise, Craig will just use it against us. He's already got that in his sight. This was said somebody will have taken me to a cleaner's walk on. This was also in the trailer. This table and all of them together were in the trailer. Is Caleb there? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I said no. Oh, change my mind. Mummy, what do you think's gonna happen? Look scary. When a big explosion goes off in the village, why does everyone run towards it? <laughs> Mummy always How tells me never to squeal more than 14 times because it's bad luck. Mummy! It's Craig. You want revenge.
Can you tell them which book? No. I, I can 
could sort this out myself. What were you thinking of doing? This and that. Oh, why are they out in the field? Craig might never admit the truth of what happened. Four hours later. And I might have to live with that for the rest of my life. But that's my problem to solve. Is no. that Craig? He's not going to get away with this, promise you. You show your face in here again? And you'll be eaten through a straw. God help us, Craig, if one of those luck comes across it. Oh, you got a devil show sure. off. Death threats now. Nice. You get out of it before we throw you out. <laughs> How much does a hitman cost? Too so much for you. Not too much for you, money man. Well, I reckon a sharp, sharp shock would do the trick. Who's killed Craig? Uh, yeah, yeah she's going to do that for me. I'm going to safety no. thing. So I'm counting you to keep things on the right side of the law, Happy. I'm sure I want it. I think it's Kane. My office still stands. Just say the word. Then you never know. One of us needs to do something. Don't worry, son. I'll get you just. He's holding a crowbar. She wanted me more than I wanted her. Walking around with that was coming off. Um, can't be touched. She felt guilty, and so she grabbed Craig. I'm gonna Is that Craig? I don't know. Yeah. Well, an unbelievable true story of deception and lies from one man. I knew the other Mrs. Jordan catching the ultimate.